Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Basecamp 3 with Slack. Uh, first thing we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at Basecamp and uh, as you can see at our workspace there's no, uh, there's no way how we can integrate Basecamp and Slack straight away. So we have to use different app or another app. Uh, let's go with automate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we are here, we want to go to the top part of our screen and choose integrations. We can hover over it or click on it and go and see all categories. Now we can pick from 200 and more apps, but we want to start with the base camp. So let's go like this. And as you can see, uh, Basecamp 3 is already integrated. And uh, now we want to go with a Slack like that. So right now we have a couple of popular integrations already, already made for us. Uh, but if we are not able to pick the one from those, we just have to keep scrolling and there we can create our own integration. Just remember, underneath the triggers uh, on the left side, we want to go uh, with uh, Basecamp. Don't go with the Slack straight away. So let's go with the first one. And on the opposite side, you want to go with the Slack. Don't go, obviously, with the Basecamp. Basecamp. Uh, what we have to do now, we have to click on Try It Now button and we'll get redirected to the uh, login site. And we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. Uh, the other way around, it's through Zapier.com. We also need to create an account here. And we want to go to the top left corner and click on Make a Zap button. We get redirected. And now we can name our Zap like Basecamp uh, to Slack, like this. And uh, it works quite uh, similarly. Uh, we want to set up a trigger and uh, the trigger is, is from Basecamp 3. Trigger event, let's go with a new account for example, let's stick to the first one. Now we have to log into the account that we created just for this reason. Continue and now we can test the trigger. Let's go to the second action. The second action is actually Slack like this action event uh yeah let's stick to the first one continue and the last thing you have to do is just to sign into slack and we are basically done so thanks for watching and see you on the next video